The woman at the heart of a political crisis in Democratic Republic of Congo, Janine Mabunda. She was the Speaker of Parliament and an ally of former President Joseph Kabila. After hours of debate, politicians, even those who support Kabila, voted to impeach her. It was time. Everything is cyclical. Her time has passed. She did nothing. And we don't think we'll miss her. But this was about more than one woman. It was a vote for President Felix Chesakedi and how much support he would have in building a new coalition and after two years taking a clear majority in parliament. Change began today. We had a hybrid government before, but now the Congolese people, the members of parliament, have demonstrated that they were fed up. They were fed up with the Kabila family and his supporters who pretended to have a majority. President Chesakedi came to office last year, but without a majority. 300 of the 500 seats in parliament were loyal to his predecessor, Joseph Kabila. The two leaders came to a power-sharing agreement, but Chesakedi said it hamstrung him in his efforts to enact reform or combat corruption. The shaky coalition fractured in July, when Chesakedi appointed three new justices to the nation's top court. On Sunday, Chesakedi announced the end of the ruling coalition and threatened to dissolve parliament. This sad conclusion comes after two years of tireless efforts and self-sacrifice to preserve the essentials within the coalition. This was the result. Kabila's allies say it was a breach of the constitution. Supporters of both Chesakedi and Kabila clashed outside parliament. Inside, police had to intervene after fighting erupted between the politicians. We appeal to the national and international community to see that a new dictatorship is taking hold in our country, more ferocious than that of Mobutu, and that we must act, otherwise Congo will go adrift. There is concern about how Chesakedi will try to build a parliamentary majority and whether it will be a peaceful process. But Kabila has said he will accept the Speaker's removal for now. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.